what is going on you guys and welcome back to another video and today's video that we are going to be talking about why the Qvenger leader slash Ben Bowler is a real villain. Now there are two versions of this video but this will be in one video so they are real time and role play. So I'm going to start off with real time then. So with Benjamin Bowler in real life. So what he has done to me that was disgusting. Let's begin, shall we? Before we get into that, I'm, I'll try not to make this longer, but I'm, I think you guys know the reasoning as well. All right. Number one, lying and denying. So as we all know, Benjamin Bowler is a liar and he denies it. So, for example, I say to him, why did you send me this message or what? Why did you do this to me? He says, I didn't. Well, as we all know, he's just a pussy. We'll get to that in a minute. Number two, snitching. So, obviously, he's been getting me into trouble with dad. So, telling his mum and getting his mum to try and talk to me. But then I just decided to hang up because I didn't want to. And then she even phoned my dad because someone's mum, well, the, the, the person's mum, had given our phone number to, to Benjamin Bowler's mum so she can call my dad and threaten him, saying, like, if you do not sort your son out or what, though, we'll get the police involved. That was disgusting as well. Yeah, and even I got into trouble with dad as well. And I don't have a bank account no more. I lost all my DVDs because of Benjamin Bowler. Because my dad thought I was spending £600 on gifting people, including Benjamin Bowler. So that's also Benjamin Bowler's fault for that. So we all know that. So, number three, spoiling. So as we know that Benjamin Bowler is my hater as well. We're haters to each other, okay? I'm a, I'm a good hater. Ben's the bad hater. So, like, he even unblocks me on Instagram and, and then messages me, like, what happened in the film. So after he went to the cinemas, then he messages me what happened. And then as I look at it, then he just unsends it and then unblocks me, just like a coward. And we will get to that in a minute as well, of coward. So he spoiled... Spider-Man No Way Home and Venom 2 and I thought those films were ruined because of Ben so that's Benjamin Bowler's fault as well and next week I'm going to be seeing Doctor Strange The Multiverse of Madness on a Thursday at half past one in the cinema so hopefully I do not get spoiled that as well and even though I did tell my dad we need to go and see Doctor Strange when it first comes out otherwise we are going to get spoilers so, moving on, number four, cowardice. So, as we all know, like, after what happened, as my dad was shouting at me, after Benjamin Bowler's mum phoned my dad and threatened him as well, and Benjamin Bowler ended up being a coward, blocking me on all the social medias, such as Facebook, Xbox, PlayStation, Instagram, every social media. I haven't blocked him on anything. Because this also proves my point that I'm not actually a coward as well. And yeah, because I blocked Benjamin Bolt on Instagram as well, he made a new Instagram account so he can send me spoilers and hate messages as well. Sometimes he may unsend them because he doesn't want... He unsends them and blocks me like a coward. So I don't show you guys what messages Ben Bowler has sent me because in one of my videos... I show you guys the messages from my soldiers slash fans, fans and for one of my friends and what they say about things and that or even after they watch my videos then they leave me messages as well all right so that's real time out of the way so moving on now to version two of this video role play sorry about the dogs barking by the way number one murdering so, as we all know, the Benjamin Bowler, the Q-Venger leader, 
is a murderer. Oh yeah, I forgot to say before we get started on roleplay, this is just a roleplay. This isn't real time, don't worry. Just don't take it serious, okay? So, murdering. So Benjamin Bowler is the murderer, as we all know that. So if you guys haven't seen my videos that he killed Matty Hayden, I can't remember when. So, so after I stuck up for Matty Hayden, Benjamin Bowler killed him. And then, and I don't know why though, this is real time. Matty Hayden blocked me on, on Xbox for some reason. And I still don't know why he blocked me. Or I don't know what his problem is, you know. Okay, so still talking about murdering. On Christmas Day, so last Christmas, not this Christmas coming, that we know that Benjamin Bowler had ruined our Christmas. Me, my wife, well, me and my wife's Christmas as well. So Benjamin Bowler in the, in the Valkyrie, like cross-firing in, in our apartment room, tried to kill one of us, but he killed one. So that is that Benjamin Bowler killed my wife's mother, which was actually disgusting. Which was actually disgusting, not her, sorry. I couldn't really speak. So my wife wants to kill Benjamin Bowler so bad. Disclaimer, I don't really have a wife. Like I said, this is just role play. So yeah, Benjamin Bowler can do anything disgusting. Like kill one of my friends, caught, kill one of the, kill one of the loved ones as well. Even kill, try and kill my family or what though, try and kill me. Because once he tried to kill me, he tried to destroy San Andreas. Him and his army tried to destroy San Andreas back in 2020, I believe. Yeah, 2020. But we stopped that. So instead, we destroyed his island. Originally, it was El Rubio's. But, but Benjamin Bowler kicked El Rubio out of his island and then started to take over it. But El Rubio, we, we asked El Rubio, we had permission from El Rubio to destroy Cayo Perico. We haven't decided if we will rebuild it again, like rebuild Cayo Perico as well. Or he could live on our island that we've taken over, which is Woohoo Island slash Wahoo Island, whatever it's called. The island from Wii Sports Resort, the island that we've taken over as well. And it's not like we are ruining Wahoo Island. We're making it peaceful. We are protecting it. But we, do, we don't have Liberty City ever since Mr. Witherish HQ and Christian had killed our men there. And there's no more Marcus Hunt in Liberty City. But, but we will be back there soon. So mark my words. It's not like we want to destroy Liberty City. We want to make it peaceful. We want to protect Liberty City from another army trying to destroy it. Like Benjamin Bowler and his army, the q Avengers. Uh, pardon me? All right, that's that out of the way. Number two, thief or theft. So Benjamin Bowler is a thief because he likes to nick things off me and or even try and get his men to do a job to try and nick people's cars or even my cars as well, try and nick our stuff. So that just makes him a real fucking villain as well. Just like with murdering. So he is a murderer and a thief. So as we all know, he's actually a thief because he likes to steal things in his army. As for my army, we steal things, but we're not like the Q-Vengers as well. We are more trained in the Marcus Hunt than the Q-Vengers. As one of my soldiers say, that the Q-Vengers are cheap. <laughs> and as for me, my army are expensive. Even though we got more, less, 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 less cheap soldiers in army, but mostly we have expensive men in our army. So too bad Benjamin Bowler does not have any expensive men in his army as well. 
his men can easily get arrested by the police because when when Benjamin Bowler's men do some like crimes and that like shoplifting or um, you know stealing cars whatever then we either call the police on them and the police go after them or me and my well not me I send my men to go over there and kill the queue vendors or arrest them well they have to contact me and decide what should we do with them whether I choose to arrest them or execute them but I would mostly say arrest them or let's I just say knock them out arrest them or kill them but yeah let me decide okay that's theft done but last but not blech. last but not least on role play number three trying to take over towns or the countries so as you guys know or don't know that Benjamin Bowler and his army like to take over the towns so he's been taking over Cornwall Peterborough and Yorkshire and has them as his territories, the Q vendors' territories. But we clean them out because we do an operation during this Fourth World War as well. So we never let the Q vendors try and take over the whole country of England or even America, even the Isle of Man. I forgot to mention the Isle of Man. Or Ireland, Spain, wherever. So we just clean them out, make them peaceful. Make sure that the Q vendors don't do anything stupid or or make the civilians, you know, do something they don't want to do or even kill anybody in these areas. So we don't let the Q vendors do that as well. So whenever the Q vendors want to take over a place in this country, so let's say Manchester, then... Um, I'm trying to think of what to say. Then we plan on the operation, how we are clearing out the queue vendors, how we can make Manchester or any, or any other places peaceful again, just like it was before. So that's what we do. So my job, and our, well, my job and our army's job is to make sure that every town in England or any other countries and their towns are peaceful. We make sure that there's no harm to them. Just like what the q vendors do. The q vendors do harm as well. They harm people, which is disgusting of them. And this is what makes Benjamin Bowler a real, real villain. He calls himself a villain, but nope, I don't actually think so. As for Mr. Witheridge HQ and Christian's army, even though they're our enemies, my enemies as well, but they're still enemies with the Q vendors as well. Thankfully, they're not even allies against me as well. And, and there's another army I forgot about, and they're our allies as well. But I might mention that in one of my next videos soon. I don't know when. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention that Mr. Withage HQ and Christian's army... I'm not like the Q vendors taking over the countries. They just want to try and kill me. They want to try and get my army out of business. They want me to retire. They want me to stop fighting the Q vendors. Well, that's not happening. Because this is my war. I declared it. Not the Q vendors. Not Christian's army. Not Mr. Withers HQ. This is my war. All right, guys. I think that's it for today. For this video so this is this is how we know that the q vendor leader ben bowler is a real villain and not a hero even when he says to himself that i'm not a villain well he's denying it because he's a pussy as we all know that all right hope you've enjoyed this video a like is always appreciated don't forget to leave a like and subscribe I'll see you guys next time. So have a great day and night. Peace out.